Hi guys, how are you? Yes, I am doing a facial exercise video. Welcome to my channel. Okay, all my regular subscribers, hi guys, how are you? You know that this normally is not my thing, but I'm going to share it with you. If you're new to my channel, you just dropped in to check me out. I hope you'll consider staying. <laughs> I, I do lifestyle and I hope you'll stay. Okay, well, um, over the over time, a few of you have said, so lady, what face exercises do you do? And I go, oh yeah, I'll talk about it. But anyway, our last video, one of the gals that hangs out with us, Janet Straw, said, Lady, what do you do? I can't remember what her exact words are. Okay, right there. Those are her exact words. Okay, so I thought, you know what? I should do it. First of all, I don't take these things all that seriously because I just go, I have bigger fish to fry. But, you know, over the years, I really truly think that... Um, having done some face exercises really has helped. Now, I mean, some women are totally committed to it and it's like, it's gotta get done. I'm just a little bit more laid back about all of these things, um, but you know what? I Like I say, I think it's helped. So when did I first hear about face exercises? Because that's, I mean, now there's face yoga and all of that. Believe me, I'd never heard of face yoga in the 80s, nor in the 90s from what I can recall. Although, like I said, well, that stuff wasn't really my thing. I was busy doing other things. So anyway, I wanna share with you how I first heard about it, which is really quite kind of cute and kind of funny. I heard about it through Greer Childers. Who remembers this? So this is, I'm, now I had ordered this because I wanted to do her body flex because I was really like, into weights in the 80s and I thought wow that would be really cool to have and they had started talking about band resistance was so good and they had imp started implementing it into the sports world right because they could rehab um, their players uh, far more um, um, without risk of re-injuring themselves so anyway so I had ordered a Greer's bar which I still have and then I think somewhere where I was moving or doing whatever I couldn't find it so I ordered another one so I actually have two of these bars still today now I think the first one came with an 8-track the second one came with a DVD but in the very first one I ordered came this a little brochure I'll show it to you guys. This. So it was kind of a freebie. I guess they must have done a collaboration on all of this. So anyway, so this is the first time sometime in the late 80s, I'm thinking, um, I saw or learned about face exercises. That's how long ago. And this is by Carol Maglio. And I, I don't even know if she's, if she's still around. I have no idea. But anyway, can you imagine, okay, this is not, you could, there was no YouTube then. So there was no tuning in and having somebody to show you these things properly. It's me standing in front of the mirror, reading these um, mouth corner lift and uh, eye enhancer and lower eyelid strengthener, you know, reading and trying to do it in the mirror. But anyway, so that was my first exposure to doing face exercises and I'm going to keep calling it that. All right. So like I say, this has not become my life's mission to, to do uh, face exercises, but I know they help and I know, and it really does help and it makes a big difference. I do mine normally right here. I sit up in bed and I can get pretty, I get pretty committed to it, doing it in bed because I might be watching YouTube on the video and I can relax and kind of get into it. The last year I haven't been as committed because we've been kind of busy. So I'm really happy to be back on track and I'm happy to share a few of the things that I do. I don't have a huge regime. If I miss it one night or two nights, I don't flip out about it but you miss longer than that, you will see like anything else. You go to the gym and you exercise your body and you build muscle and whatever, it works. And as soon as you stop doing it, you can see everything just gives into gravity. So I'm going to share the few things that I do. Now there's one thing that I have done for years and years and years. I have no idea where I saw it. It wouldn't have been anywhere on social media. Somebody may have told me. 
I don't, I have no idea. Actually two things, growing up in Europe and then coming to Canada, there was one thing um, that I noticed that a huge difference and I've always done it. I wash my face with a face cloth. Not as much now, now I'm sort of on and off, but at home, uh, when we were, you know, as kids, we always had a face cloth. And even, you know, for many years, the first years in Canada, we always used a face cloth. And how, yeah. And I often think back and I go, wow, I wonder if that just really stimulated the skin because, you know, it was a cloth. Anyway, so did that for years and years. Now I do tend to um, wash, use my hands more often. And yes, our face cloths, we got clean ones pretty well every day. So they were clean if anybody wants to bring that up. But I do use my hands now. The other thing that I have always done, I'm sure it was in a woman's magazine. Now I do my whole body, but back then when I showered, I'm a shower person. I would shower, I'd have a warm shower, and I always, always, always rinsed my face with cold, cold water. And that had something to do with like you're opening up the pores and cleansing it uh, with the warm water, and then you rinse really well, and you seal the deal with, you know, a minute or two of cold water. Now I run at least four minutes of very cold water all over my body. I learned that from Wim Hof. I follow some of his things, just a few of them, but the cold water thing, I really enjoy at the end of my shower because it's like, wow, I'm ready to go. All right, so what face exercise did I do that I've done for years and years? I don't know who told me. And that was once I, um, this gal or whoever it was, and I've always done it, and I think it's made a difference in my 11s because I'm almost 73. I don't think that, um, you know, I have heavy duty 11s. And I think it has helped in here. I, I know a lot of women have the really heavy, um, what, do you, what do you guys call them, Marriott lines or whatever? Or they call them laughing lines. If they're, uh, whatever, it doesn't, you know what, it is what it is. But I think this has made a huge difference. And what it was is they said, when you're washing your face and it's one motion, is I do the motion, I lift, I come back and do it again, just in case you can't see it properly. So I put the cleanser on my face, and I go like this. And I might do that in the shower with my cleanser at least, at least 15 times. And then of course I'll wash my face and I'll always wash my face in an upward motion. So I do do that in the shower every time I have a shower. I don't wash my face any differently. And I think that has really helped. And it also, of course, you know, the circulation in your face. Okay, so not many exercises, you guys. These are the few that I do. All right, one that I like, I do it all the time, whenever I have some time out, and that uh, Bill, I don't think, ever really notices when I do it because he's driving. Um, my granddaughter might, might have caught me the hot time when I'm sitting waiting for her, and I will be doing this particular exercise and I love it because I can feel the stretch and I can feel the difference. Now, there's different ways of doing it. Um, you can do it with the tongue. You can do it with uh, adhering your teeth just over the bottom um, or your lip over the bottom of your teeth, which is the one that I quite often do. And I kind of, and I love it because I'm what I'm going to do is going to put, bring my chin up and down and it's like doing push-ups for the neck. Okay, so I will just, I do this in the car or I do it sitting right here. And I just put my head back. And I'll do about you know, maybe two sets of 15. I might do it 15 of those and go do something else and come back and do them again. And then there's the one for, they do this in pictures all the time, apparently. I don't worry about it when they turn sideways. Cause of course when we sideways, if we have, you can see what's happening. We all sit like this in front of you. Everything looks perfect. You sit sideways. You can see this stuff right here. And this one really helps that here, pulling this part of the skin back. And I, again, I will put my head back. And what I do is I 
take my tongue and push my tongue up into the roof of my mouth. If you put your hand there gently, you can feel it. So I do that one. Probably the thing that bothers me the most or I wish I didn't have as I was, as I'm aging is uh, jowls. And although I don't think I need to complain, I think mine are pretty, are okay. But you know what? Doing face exercises makes a huge difference if you've got jowls. It really, really does. Now there's, 10,000 different ways of doing it. This is what I do. Okay. Um, peaches renew. Peaches renew. <laughs> I use all peaches products on my face. So I want to make sure that, you know, actually I already have some on my face, but I'll just put on some extra. And for my gels, I like to use my hands. A lot of people use gua sha's. I have one. A lot of people like to use gua sha's. A lot of people, I love the roller. I will touch on those in a minute, but I really prefer to do my gels with my hands. I take my thumbs. I take, I make sure that your jewelry's off. I used to keep my rings on and one time I really scratched my face. So those little diamonds can really stab you. <laughs> okay, so I just, Now, of course, when we're doing this, and I should have mentioned this, when we're doing this and then I take it and gently go down, that's adrenal draining. And what you really should do before you do any adrenal draining, oh, because I forgot that part, is you, you get the tem timorous is right in here. And when you're draining, everything goes down into the timorous. So it's really good just to kind of wake it up and say, hey, we can, uh, we're going to be doing some draining. Everybody wake up and pay attention so you can process all of this yucky stuff. So I will do this, just tap gentle, gentle, and then I just do this gently down, all the way down back of my neck. And I really only just started doing that about the last six months, you guys, because I learned it from a gal on Instagram. So I have paid attention because we have so much toxins in our body. So I do, do do that. And then I start doing my chin. So sorry if I'm out of order, but you get it. You get it, right? Okay, so I do this. And then about every five or so, I'll just gently. And you know what? First time I didn't feel it. Second time I went, oh yeah. I pull my... This also drains. I do this at least 15, 20 times. I pull down and then kind of lift and pull down again. It's a downward motion the whole time. And you know what? I need to tell you this. Since I started doing this, if you ever noticed, more so people my age, will get just a massive amount of wrinkles like right here. Since I started doing this, they're almost gone. So this is really, if you're experiencing that, this is really worthwhile doing. And then gently down. And then I'll go back. I'll go back. I like to sit up straight while I'm doing this. And then just relax, just enjoy it. Okay. And the other thing that I do. I learned this from Lisa. Jen, I got I got lots of oil on my face. And I do this pretty firm. Get the blood flow going. And I make sure that I get it right in by my nose as well my upper lip, this is round, this is a, actually a round muscle. Okay, so having done that, some of you might like to use the gua sha, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, you know, you can, 
for your neck. And on the neck is pretty nice. And it's the one thing you can use all over your neck. I don't like it on my chin as much or for my jowls. I don't know. It's just, I know I'm not, don't feel all that comfortable using it there. But, you know, you just find your own comfort zone with these things. I always love it when my face starts to turn red because then I go, oh, the circulation that's going on is wonderful. So you can use your gua sha. The other thing that I've always loved this little tool in the summer, I will, I rinse these, of course, I clean them every night after I've used them. And in the summertime, I put this baby in the freezer and oh my gosh, it's cold, it's cold right now. Oh my gosh, and that feels so good. And I will usually work my way up slowly. And then the little one, when it's nice and cold, underneath, underneath the eye. I love this, especially if you tend to get warm. This is wonderful. It feels really, really good. All right, and then I um, got this little tool about five months ago, I'm gonna say. It's the Venus, and I use this every, I use it three to four times a week. This has made all the difference in my eyes. Um, my eyes used to be, my eyelids used to be very, very heavy uh, to the point where it, blurred my vision at the end of the day and we talked surgery but I'm the biggest chicken in the whole world especially when it comes to yeah anywhere on my body as far as I'm concerned so it's something I really held off on and I'm so glad I did because this and um, I'm going to make sure I link that video it really really lifted my eyes um you know people say oh hooded eyes it's really kind of wrong because hooded eyes are a shape shape of an eye right and I look back at pictures when I was 20 21 I had hooded eyes but now I've got my hooded eyes have turned into this massive amount of loose skin that is wrinkly and this has made all the difference and go back I will make sure I link that video at the end uh, so you can see it it has yes I had no I'm no longer considering surgery as long as I keep using my Venus around my eyes. So I have stopped doing a lot of the eye exercises, which I'm really glad about because a lot of the exercises that I was doing around the eyes, I was creating too much motion in my forehead. You know, I'd be doing this and then I'd be wrinkling my forehead. Well, that's the last thing I need is to like be trying to get rid of, you know, this and then going get down like that. So it really made um, some, yeah, unbelievable. I mean, it's just been an unbelievable little tool, so I can't say enough about it. I'll link that down below if you want to look at their website. So you guys, that's really about my, that's about all I do. Like I say, my life is about being the best that I can be, but I want to enjoy my life and I want to, it's, you know, like, yeah, I want to look good. I want to look the best that I can. I appreciate everything I have in my life. I am so grateful that I'm healthy and I think I look just fine. But if I have to go through the next 10 years without jaws, thank you. I'll take it because I can do it naturally. I have some control over it. So you guys haven't said that. Yep, that's my video. Okay, so remember, there is no future in our past. Look ahead. If you're focusing on the past, you're not dreaming and planning anything for your future. Love you guys. Don't forget, please like, please subscribe, and leave a comment. Okay, take care.